Hey there guys, so OpenAI's new tool, Sora, this is a tool that essentially allows you to create videos, fully AI generated videos, and you can see what people created here and you can see their prompts and everything. But unfortunately, I know it's not available for everybody yet, here's where it's available. You know, feel free to just pause the video at any moment and see if your country is uh, included. But for those countries that are not included, which are for the most part European countries, what you need to do to access it is, well, change your location. So one way to change your location, it's super easy, is by using a VPN. So Sora is actually available for me in the States, but I'm just simulating here as if I'm in the UK. So if I go to what is my IP address here, you'll notice that it says I'm in the UK, which is why it thinks I'm in Europe and hence I'm not able to log in, right? It's not available in the UK yet. So with a VPN, so if I just bring this up here and all I have to do is essentially download and install a good VPN. I like to use Express because it works the best for things like that. And just overall as a daily VPN, that's what I use. So in this case, I'm gonna to connect to a country where it is available. So it'll be the States. I'm just gonna let Express VPN pick whatever state server, or you can pick a state for yourself. Let's just go with Phoenix, for example. I'll go ahead and connect to the USA server. And that's basically it. So if I go to my IP address, Finder, It'll say that I'm now in Phoenix, Arizona. So Sora should be accessible. I want you to notice how this will go away once I refresh Sora here. And the moment it's refreshed, I should have access to it. So let's just wait a second here. Oh, look at that. It says it's not available in your country yet. So that's very interesting. Let's try it with incognito mode. It should work, but it's probably because I have to delete my cache on my browser. So if I use incognito, the browser won't remember where my location is previously. So uh, if I don't get access to it still, if it's not available, then wow, maybe it's not available in Phoenix yet. Okay, so what we'll do here is connect to a different state. So let's just go with New York. And we'll see what happens here. Let's just go ahead and refresh and see if anything changes. I should have access to Sora at this point. There we go. Okay, so now I'm able to log in. Now, at the moment, unfortunately, I've been trying to log in, but account creation is just not possible at the moment. So if I go ahead and continue with Google. So for me, unfortunately, account creation is unavailable, but I can check back later. It's just because they're experiencing a lot of traffic. So that's very much understandable. But again, if you're not able to access Sora and you're trying to access Sora, this is how you can access it if it's still not available in your location. Again, what I personally use is Express, but you don't have to get the same VPN that I have. There's other VPNs like Nord and Surfshark. They're a little bit more affordable, but if you're looking for, I would say the best out of all, I would just go with Express. Either way, I'll leave links to all the VPNs I mentioned in the description down below. And if you have any questions on Sora or how to use it with a VPN, or if it's not working for you, uh, clearly it doesn't seem to be available in all of the states. So if you're also in the states and you happen to not have access to Sora yet, then it's probably not available in all states. Like we just saw how it's not available in Arizona, but it is available in New York. So again, for anybody in the states also that's not able to access Sora, you can access it using a VPN. So that'll be it for this video. Again, if you have any comments, leave them down below. And again, if you end up wanting to pick up Express, I'll leave a discount below as well as a full review. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.